that a single eccentric that shifts across the shaft. And of course I'd ride directly off the eccentric for this valve. These are piston valves. And then I take it off at 90 degrees onto this rocker shaft here, down and run this valve over here off of that same eccentric. Because our cranks are at 90 degrees. Do that so it'll be self-starting. Forgotten. Call those again the cylinder drains or yeah. cylinder top. Important when you start up to get the water out so you don't have a hydrostatic lock in your cylinders. Something well, poppet valves will kind of intake. You know, it can open up and let the pressure back into the steam line, I guess. And the slide valve can lift off its seat, but a piston valve is just a total lock if you get water in the cylinder. Build up some more pressure. I think I've got a pretty good fire in there. Want to add some more wood? Not yet. Years. That's why they say on those 
Brian engines, or maybe even a Stanley, don't put a neutral in them. Yeah, well now we're at 250 sitting here. You got a class full of water. about out of fire. So it looks like our water is uh, pretty high there. Yeah, it is. That's all right. Take yeah. care of that. Vertical pipes weld into that and come up, and the grids go across the other side into a header there that feeds into this drum. And that header and those verticals go through the grids and feed into a header up here that feeds into the drum. Oh, you've got a steam whistle. How's that sound? Oh, pretty loud now. That's loud. <laughs> 